we can't ignore the science. Educators are expressing concern over a new policy in Ohio schools. Last week, Governor Mike DeWine announced students and teachers exposed to the virus in school will no longer have to quarantine as long as everyone was wearing a mask. But News 5's Emily Hamilton talked to several school officials who say it is just too risky. Educators we spoke with say they want to be back in the classroom with their students. The quicker that we can get vaccinated and uh, have every adult in the building vaccinated, um, you know, to make it safe, the uh, quicker we can get our kids back in the building. But at what cost? The fact that we are doing it simply as our state and not with national um, or international CDC guidelines uh, makes me quite concerned. The CDC currently advises any student who is exposed to COVID-19 should quarantine at home for two weeks and participate in virtual learning. That removal of quarantine, I, it makes me uncomfortable because I don't know the science of it. Um, but at the same time, I understand where the governor's coming from. But Governor DeWine is bypassing that measure after a month-long study in various districts throughout the state. A little bit of trepidation, a little bit of fear, um, not really understanding why, you know, we are following CDC guidelines and now we're not following CDC guidelines. Ohio's top doctor says in that study there was no discernible difference in the infection rate between students who were exposed to the virus in a classroom and those who were not. But educators do have concerns about getting rid of the two-week quarantine period. To signal, se separate out just one se section of our society and say, no, um, everything needs to follow CDC guidelines except for schools, I, I think is, uh, quite frankly, a dangerous step. It does make me nervous about who's making the decision about whether or not the masks were worn and these other pieces are in place. Um, I worry about my colleagues being put on the spot. Bonnie Monteleone says the new policy puts teachers between a rock and a hard place. Do I tell that the kid did drop their mask? Do I reveal that, you know, some kids don't want to sneeze into their mask. And as the holiday break comes to a close, the new guidance from the governor is top of mind. That was uh, just a little disconcerting. I felt like it just really flew under the radar and that a lot of folks aren't going to be grappling with it until after we return from break. Emily Hamilton, News 5.